Can we just uh, talk about Jim Harbaugh? A lot of Michigan people are, are mad at me for what it is that I said yesterday. I was just reading somebody's tweet on uh, how great it is to look at Jim Har Harbaugh through the prism of ultimate Michigan man who never beats Ohio State and uh, is afraid to play them during the pandemic year and then oversees a ton of cheating and then jumps from a burning building into the safety of Justin Her Herbert's arms. Uh, your thoughts on everything going on with Harbaugh as he declares himself innocent of all charges again. <laughs> I respect it. I mean, hey, someone tweeted out the meme from The Dark Knight Rises where Bane's like, we need someone left at the wreckage, brother. And that was what Jim Harbaugh did. He left. Sharon Moore's taking the hit. Like, there's what are they going to do? He doesn't he doesn't coach in college football anymore. There are no punishments for his actions. He might as well just go. There are though. Claim there, innocence. There, there are some Not really. Well, there Not for him. No, but there could be. Mike was pointing this out yesterday. The NFL one time did uh penalize Jim Tressel because the this consortium that has a free minor league does pretend to be in business with college football and they can punish him if they wanted to. They're not going to do that. Those days are over. I'm yeah, sorry. they're not doing that. Yeah. Lucy, stay out of my lane. The line is they expect one of us in the record, brother. <laughs> Are you enjoying the Harbaugh experience? Because I think we're going to have a year of, uh, I mean, I don't know that we've had a coach that can run this publicly goofy in a while because he's now got the confidence of, I just ran college football. <laughs> and I, I, I might not be the best coach in my own family, but I'm better than most anybody else. I think I'm going to enjoy it now that my favorite team is it's scheduled to play him every year. I think it's going to be fun just to see, like, his personality is so unique and interesting. Like, I don't want to compare it to Dan Campbell because they're very, very different personalities, but they're both very intense and weird in the way they're weird. And that has been so fun to watch. So I'm excited to see Jim Harbaugh back in the NFL just kind of being his, like, weirdo, goofy self. Lucy, so there is a lot of stuff in this like NCAA notice of allegations, which is what broke on Monday and and led to the Harbaugh press conference. But there was also like there was a lot of maybe some like serious things in it, but then also like a lot of like silly like not NCAA nonsense, like a coach getting a level two violation for getting someone verified on Instagram. So how do we like how are we supposed to wade through some of this like silly NCAA stuff and figure out what is actually going on here with the Connor Stallion situation? That's a great question. I don't know if the NCAA has an answer, so I don't know if I have an answer. They just take all of this stuff, and the NCAA is so notorious for things that are actually important and actually matter, not taking them seriously, and things like buying a recruit a cheeseburger, just making that the end of the world. I think what we're going to see happen is honestly kind of what has happened to Michigan the last you know two seasons anyways, where we're going to see their head coach, just a different head coach this time, get suspended for a couple games. Because from what I saw, most of the level two infractions are related to Sharon Moore and all the serious level one stuff is Harbaugh, who is gone, and Connor Stallions, who is obviously gone.